Hello. Thanks for meeting me here today in my office. Mm. It's so great to see you. Have a seat. And please tell me exactly what it is that you're going through right now. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. So you're telling me the reason for your exposure therapy session today is because of your fear of books. Okay. So tell me, where did this fear come from, if you know? Oh, I see. So growing up, your parents made you always read books. And your teachers, I understand. So you're vastly afraid of books. Is it just books in general, textbooks, pamphlets? Is it anything on paper or text, just books? Okay, well, lucky for you, um, I have some books here actually on my bookshelf next to me, and I will uh, pick out four different types of uh, textures and stuff like that. I'm not going to show them to you now, and you certainly don't have to look at the bookshelf if you don't feel comfortable, but I will uh, show you different type of books with different textures to help you get familiar with books and have no reason to fear them in the future, okay? So exposure therapy, if you don't know, is basically ex a form of therapy where I have to expose you to the thing that you are most afraid of, right? And so by exposing you to that thing, slowly but surely you grow confidence in facing that fear, okay? That's what it's all about. I will pace myself with you and ensure that you get the healing you need today, okay? All right. So um, I'm just going to start off by giving you a quick, small glimpse. Okay, just a little quick, small glimpse. All right, you just look above my hand. Don't look below my hand. Just a quick, small glimpse. And what do you see here? What is on this thing? It looks like stars in the zodiac, right? Accurate, okay. And what color do you notice? It's similar to my cabinets, yes. It's about a green, blue hue. Depends how you see color. And you see the color of the stars, right? They're black. Okay. You see how my hand is just safely on this book. It's not even a book. If you're afraid, it's something totally different. It's just safely on whatever this thing is. And you notice that it's not doing anything to me. It's not really moving unless I pick it up, right? It can't eat me. It can't hurt me. Oh, if I drop it on my foot, it might, but why would I do that to myself? It can't do anything without my control. It just sits in a shelf until I pick it up and I decide to read it. And you don't have to read this thing. You don't have to even look at it right now. You can look away if you're shaking and you're uncomfortable. And I can see by your body language you are. But I'm just going to get a tad bit closer to you just to get more relatable with you and understand that I know what it's like to fear things. I fear spiders. Some people fear snakes. We all have different fears. But this is one of those that we can simply allow ourselves to just be okay with. Just accepting that the fear is there. And look at that yellow right there. See that yellow? Isn't it a beautiful color? Books are so beautiful. Things are beautiful in general. And there's so many colors. And there's so much information. And right now you're a grown adult. No one's making you do anything you don't want to do. So. You see that? What does that say? The art of, right? The art of astrology. It's just a text about astrology. That's it. That's all it is. And below, you guessed it, is the author, Anna Southgate. And it says a practical guide to reading your horoscope. It's just the front cover you see. You don't see anything else but this beautiful, colorful front cover, right? It's just a front cover, see? 
and I'm feeling it and it feels so good to run it through my fingertips. Maybe to tap on it a bit and I notice that it has kind of a hard cover to it. It's a little hard cover. You see the circle here? Maybe I notice a smell and then I realize it's three-dimensional and has a beautiful yellow color on the side as well. Maybe, yeah, you want to touch it briefly and feel it with me just with your little fingertip. There you go. See, it's not so bad. And then, <laughs> sorry, I had to clear my throat. And then we see it's also green and yellow on the other side with the circle. See, books are bad. Books are not bad at all. And then I can just kind of briefly open it a little bit. And it's another yellow color. Isn't it pretty? If it's too much, let me know. I can close it. Okay, you're doing great. And just focus on the color. And how does this color make you feel in particular? Does it bring happiness? Is it inviting you to explore it more? Is it enticing to you? I can close it anytime I want if it's too much. I have the power to open it though as well. Let's close it. It makes a slight creaking sound when I open and close it. That's just wonderful. Then I can even open the back cover. The back cover is also yellow. and beautiful the soft page here and the hard cover here the soft cover here can even scratch my nails on it fully in control and the hard cover then I just open to one page in the book and I see just nothing but words I don't have to read them I see an image of a bull Maybe that's too scary. Oh, that's kind of scary too. Okay, we can go ahead and open this page. It talks about astrology and Judaism. And it shows different information. We don't have to know what this is, but it's just interesting. And then we can flip another page and see more beautiful artwork, something about Western astrology. Why do we care? We don't have to know. It's just a book. No one's making you read it. What's your zodiac sign? Oh, is it? Hmm. It says passionate, secretive, determined, maybe jealous or brooding. Hmm. So, Astrology is fun. It's good to get to know yourself, but see you want to hold it No, you want to touch it at least put your hand over it Just a little there you go. See you get, oh god. You're grabbing it. Oh, you grabbed it from me. Oh, oh wow Okay, see you're making progress already mm -hmm. You don't have to open it. You can just hold it in your lap. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, just hold it there in your lap While I show you another book See, this one is glossy. It's called the Convoluted Universe. This is a glossy. It feels very good. You want to touch a little? See the beautiful colors? It has the galaxy there, the sun, and ships in the distance. And, you know, I like to read books personally because they allow me to explore uh, fantasy things out of our reality because I feel like we're so much in reality being in fear paying taxes all this nonsense and you know sometimes I like to escape it and books give me a valid way to do that so in a sense it kind of helps with my fear you know so see this is a thicker cover and it's feels hard here, but it's soft here. 
A beautiful color, array of colors of purples and oranges. What does that color make you feel now? Yeah? Well, I heard Dolores Cannon is a very wonderful author. And here in the front, you just see a blank page. And just the title. It's That's all it is. Nothing scary. It says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Proverbs 154. This is 39 chapters. I'm just flipping it, see? I'm already flipping it. I notice your fear diminishing. And I just kind of do this a little bit. And I just... smell the pages and maybe I encourage you to smell a little waft of the pages. New books smell wonderful. They really do. Would you like to hold this one? There you go. You'd like to flip some pages too? See? It's not so bad, is it? And there's this book which is a hard cover but it's soft. That other one wasn't soft. This one is a soft hardcover, and these are my favorite to run my nails along. It has such a wonderful texture to it. It really, truly does. And I love the sound of the edge of the binding. Oh, this is one of my favorite authors and motivational speakers. a tiny book and you realize tiny books aren't scary. They're so small. I think I wanted to start off kind of strong with you to kind of help you overcome the fear. But the more you see, the more it's like, oh, there's many books. There's millions of books. Just like there's millions and millions of mosquitoes and insects out there that we're afraid of. There are countless horrible people out there we could be afraid of, but this is the least scary. This can't do anything to you. It is up to you whether you would like to look at it or not. That's on you. But they're wonderful, amazing, incredible books with tons of information for you out there that can help you. Anything. You're dealing with and going through. So, flip away. Flip away. Flip away. There you go. I'll let you hold those books. And I already see you making progress reading what's in the book. I'm very proud of you. Know that this is the first step of a new beginning in your life. And here we have one final one. A soft cover and a soft cover. <laughs> Not glossy, but soft. I thought I'd end with this because it has the word scary in it. But is it really? Nah. Because you're scary smart. And you know that books are not scary. Books are books. No matter how much we've been forced to read them early on, we all have. We've had to read Shakespeare and all this nonsense. Well, Shakespeare I'm not saying is nonsense, but you know what I'm saying. That we honestly got bored of books. We declared that we never wanted to pick another book up ever again after school was over. And that was a promise we made to ourselves. And that's why a lot of people don't like books or are afraid of them. They're afraid to know more. They're afraid of how much they might figure out. But I find in life, the more knowledge you have, it can help you make more money. It can help you grow, expand your view of the world, and so much more. So, are these white blank pages blank? They look blank, but are they really that scary? No. They're just printed ink on sheets of tree bark. Yeah. So, I'm literally 
I'm going to open the book and just hand it to you and I ask you to read. There you go. Perfect. See, you have four books in your lap. Is it really that bad? No. You realize you can let this go now, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Now hold both books in your hands and lift them up like dumbbells. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, but seriously, like, you're good, right? You see my bookshelf? You can look at it with ease knowing that it ain't scary. Mm-hmm. Anytime you're feeling the fear or you're thinking about back to your past, just grab a book. Exposure therapy. Just grab the book, look at it, read it. You almost have to force yourself to do it to say, what was I so afraid of? This isn't so bad. So there you go. Um, I hope this has helped you on your road ahead. And um, thank you for joining me for your exposure therapy appointment today. See? I think one of the most wonderful things... exposed to our books that's just my opinion but may this help you on your road ahead and you feel free to grab a few that you like borrow some just like you're at a library now next week i will make you go into the library the local library with me and walk in there um, to help you overcome your fear further because there's still a little bit of a jitteriness to you every time i hand you a book um, or agitation so we're gonna have to work through that okay and there's no judgment here. I work with all sorts of people. I work with people who are afraid to walk into grocery stores because food is scary. Yeah, so. All right, I will see you next week. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't need you to send that $100 payment to my PayPal, okay? All right, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you soon.